the secret to overcome procrastination. Procrastination and that project that you've been delaying for so long is to come to the realization and acceptance that you don't have to do it. Isn't that crazy? You don't have to do it at all. And of course, just as you say that to yourself and you let that thought just drop down into your body, it will be met with a, a resistance. Some part will be saying, uh, excuse me, we do have to do this. This is really big, this is important, this is significant. But the truth is, you never have to do anything. And it's that language, it's that belief in have to do it that makes you feel like you're trapped, it may, you feel enslaved by it. And this is, the, this is the way we talk to ourselves. This is how we learned to talk to ourselves. I have to do it. And then we therefore feel trapped and we feel resentful. We feel enslaved by it. Because literally, to have to do something means you have no choice. Your choice has been taken away, there's no free will. So, to get over procrastination, there is a huge part of it that's mental. There is a retraining in the way you talk to yourself. And one of the first things to go is have to. Now, sometimes people push back when they hear that and they say, well, look, does that mean I, I, I drop my standards and I sort of accept less from myself? And the answer to that is no. You absolutely do have standards for yourself and things that you want to achieve. You should ask things of yourself. That's very healthy, you know, um, but it's just the, 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 how will I put this? The philosophy behind have to is very different to the philosophy behind want to. Uh, I care about this. Okay, I choose to. This is important to me. Very different. Have to is for procrastination. It is is the one thing really at the core of it that we need to get rid of. Because there is a healthy part of you that will rebel against the idea that you have to do something. You tell yourself you have to do something and a little voice will also come up in the back and say, we'll see about that too. And that's a very healthy, autonomy loving part of yourself. It's, it's a kind of a, a rebel against tyranny, if you like. And there's, there's no way you can get rid of that part of yourself, thankfully. Not fully, at least. So it will always fight against that sort of self-talk. And if you're going to talk to yourself with these have-tos, need-tos, must-dos, should-dos, you know, shooting yourself to death, you will find that, it's again, it's like driving with the, the handbrake on in your car. It'll feel like hard work all the time. So my advice is just retrain yourself. Watch every time you use the word have to. We use it all the time. You know, it's, it's ubiquitous. Um, and every time you catch yourself using that, that word, either in conversation or in your mind, pause. Actually, that's not true. I don't have to do anything. I'm completely free here. I do not have to do this. I can choose to not do this. Yes, there may be consequences, but I have the right and the ability to choose that. I'm a grown, a grown adult. I can do that for myself. And that starts to liberate us. And there's less resentment and there's less sort of inner conflict and rebellion against the task. So there's a few thoughts in the idea of dropping the have to's because they're not helping. Of course, it seems like they help and a part of the mind thinks, I'm gonna help you by telling you what you have to do. <laughs> right? Maybe, maybe if you've ever had a friend like that or something, you know, like that gets old pretty quick. Certainly for the self-talk, it also gets old and it's just not, it's not helpful. It just does not work. So the, the invitation is to watch, bring awareness to where you're using that in your own language and choose to train yourself in, in choosing different language, different terms in, in when you're talking to yourself. And watch, I guarantee people always underestimate the power of change in self-talk. 
because they tend to focus more on behavioral changes. Behavioral changes, yes, but also work on that self-talk. It's a huge, huge piece in this, huge piece in this. The inner part of this is massive. Guys, I will leave it there for today, but uh, I'll see you again soon in the next video. And as always, thanks for being with me today. Bye for now.